Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're all fine and healthy. So today I'm going to show you what settings you have to apply to play Gears of War without any lags, stutterings and have the maximum FPS out of your game. Now before I show you some settings, here are some pointers to follow before you start applying these settings. Now first you have to make sure that your NVIDIA or your AMD card has the latest graphics driver installed. Now for NVIDIA cards, the recommended driver for Gears of War 5 is 436.50. And now if you have that driver, you can install that or you always can have the latest graphics driver downloaded from the GeForce.com and install that driver for this game. Now I had 436.50 and the latest driver I have now installed on this PC. Now when I started the game playing with 436.50, I was experiencing stutterings, stuttering with FPS, stuttering with sound and I used to get at some places game unplayable. I never used I never used to experience the stutterings I have experienced with this game. So what I have done is I had removed 436.50 driver and installed the latest driver. So I'll show you the graphics driver version on my laptop. Now here is the Nvidia control panel. And here is the graphics driver. Now this is the latest graphics driver I have installed on my laptop. Okay. So now the settings that you have to do on the NVIDIA control panel. First open NVIDIA control panel. Now here it is. Now make sure that you, ex you at least satisfy the minimum requirements for this game. Now minimum requirements for this game is actually a 700 series graphics card, 750 or a 760 Ti. And I have on my laptop is a 970M 6GB. This PC is an Alienware M15X with only 10 GB of DDR3 RAM and a 6 GB NVIDIA GeForce 970M. Okay, this is a full HD screen and it is running with an Intel Quad Core Core i7 at 740QM. Now, what you have to do is open the NVIDIA control panel and choose this use the advanced 3D image settings. Now click take me there and you have to make these settings what I have done on the NVIDIA control panel. I'll just keep it here for 5 to 10 seconds so you can see what I have done and you can copy these settings to your NVIDIA control panel. And you can also use these settings on a 1000 series uh, graphics card and a 2000 series RTX graphics card. I even saw a 1000 series graphics card and 2000 series graphics card stuttering. So these settings you see here, can help you gain maximum FPS and high performance on the game. So I'll go down. From here you can see these settings you have to do on the NVIDIA control panel. Now the other thing that I have got success in getting some performance improvement if not with these settings 
is selecting this setting use my preference for emphasizing now if somehow if you can't get these settings to work with your graphics card and gears 5 you can choose this third one apply it and then trying running the game I had I had choose this setting use my emphasize preference emphasizing to balanced and quality and it gave me some improvement but when I had changed these settings on the Nvidia control panel and these settings I have done just by luck I, I thought just make it off and let the in-game settings take over but most importantly what you have to do here is this power management mode should be prefer maximum performance okay and your windows mobility center or your power plan should be high performance right now it is balanced so i change this to high performance okay you can you can leave it auto select for opengl rendering gpu or here you can also choose nvidia geforce gtx 970m now triple buffering you can uh, turn off vertical sync you can turn off for texture filtering you can choose performance i i also got a decent performance on the quality which is the default setting but you can also choose performance okay now these are the settings for your nvidia control panel i'll show you once again okay so you can use these settings or you can use use my preference emphasizing but mostly you're gonna get maximum performance out of the second one use the advanced 3d settings okay the next is the sound now for sound what Microsoft recommends is What Microsoft recommends is a 24-bit 48,000 hertz studio quality or a 16-bit 48,000 DVD quality. They don't recommend 44 or uh, 88 or a 96,000 studio quality sound. So default, my system has picked up two channel 16 bit 48,000 Hertz DVD quality channel so keep it or you can try with 24 24 uh, what was that uh, let's see once again 24 bit channel of 48,000 Hertz studio quality okay so once you have done these settings in NVIDIA control panel launch the game so let's get into the game straight away so bear with me I have a HDD 7200 RPM 500 GB hard drive so game takes a little time to boot at least 10 seconds to boot so It's gonna come up any time now. Here it comes.
okay so now the game is here I'll just press enter to play and when we get into the graphic settings I'll show you what exactly you have to do with the in-game settings so let's start so the game is now loading okay so here it is so before you start playing the campaign come to the settings choose options and choose video now there are very minimum settings you have to do here now first of all what you what you should do sh should do is you keep it on recommended okay this will take the optimal settings for your game okay now set in the changes where you have to do is first one is the maximum frame rate now this you have to keep it as 30 okay I have success keeping this on 30 now if you have a 1000 series Nvidia card or an equivalent AMD card you can keep this on 60 but don't keep it unlimited unless you have an RTX 2080 or a 3090 okay now have I have success keeping this on 30 and I get a very smooth game gameplay with this game you can even try 60 or an unlimited but somewhere you gonna experience a drop in FPS or a stuttering with sound or graphics so maximum success I have got is with keeping maximum frame rate equal to 30 okay the other thing you have to change is see with the recommended Nvidia 970 M6 GB I get a recommended setting of ultra come down the next thing you have to change is this motion blur you can keep it off or you're on okay maximum success I have got is with this off now you can also try motion blur on but somewhere you're gonna f experience lags due to motion blur on so I'll keep this off and the last one you have to change is the GPU keep GPU off your system don't keep it auto change to your graphics card okay now you can see the game is running on the resolution of 1920 by 1080 which is the resolution of the screen so let's get into the game so I have been playing this game for some time now and have played this game up to act 3 so let me start from here and show you so suppose if you have a graphics card of Nvidia such as 960 or uh, 950 you have to lower these quality settings but make sure you have at least 6 GB of graphics memory so the game is now loading it can load anytime now Okay, it's done. It can come up anytime now. A 
Okay, so now you can see that it is super smooth running at full HD resolution. Okay. So let's go and shoot some locusts. <laughs> You see, the game is very playable. see that game is very playable guys we're in a silo Baird we found one of the silos but it's wrecked it's very smooth well, running more. at around 30 one 35 fps operation. hope you're right we ended the war once on this island when we get this hammer satellite up we can do it again that's the idea old pal control out so bear in mind that this game is being recorded in the background so there is stuttering however if you don't record in the background and you run the game it's even more smoother so you can see that game is really smooth and you can play it very easily on a 970m 6gb so let's go through here Cut some wires. So, straight's not an option. Which rocket base taking left? Let's find out. You guys go right. Marcus and I will go left. We'll find those silos. Sounds good. Stay in contact. So... You sure about this? Two silos, two paths. You got a better idea? So that's it. As you can see, the game is very playable on a 900 series laptop graphics card. And it should be minimum of 6 GB graphics memory. Okay. So... I hope you apply these settings on your graphics card and have an enjoyable experience of Gears 5. And trust me, it's an enjoyable game. You'll enjoy playing it. Okay? So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.